Yeah, my surgery. Lining things up for me? Not quite. Not yet. The process is complicated. My finger's on the pulse. The fuck you want? I'm on my way out of Night City. I'd like to meet up, face to face. Troops are stationed out South Caliway. Reed? Okay. Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks, that's it. In a hurry to get out of Dodge? Should have warned me. We might have just missed each other. Maybe I was hoping for that. I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. <laughs> Long ass way to drive, Chum. Well, trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. Open road for the quintessential introvert. Solve some problems on your own. Not all of them. I did call you. Drag you out here. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep. I'm trying to break things down. Keep asking myself. And... I don't know, but maybe you do. Show me, up there in Space Force One. She raised you on the hollow, not me. Why? Song didn't trust you. Knew you'd prove Meyer's loyal hound in the end. Was ordered to hunt her, but I helped her instead. Want proof of loyalty? No better proof than that. Vanished from her life for seven years. Left her to her own devices. Contact would have been unwise, so impossible. I played the role I had to. Song knew the truth, though. Knew full well you were no traitor. Well, as I saw it, I was protecting her. Know what your problem is? You find it damn hard to just let go. Open to some advice? Stop torturing yourself with shit you can't affect, let alone control. Hmm. Time for me to fly. An honesty much appreciated, V. You deserved it, Saul. Await contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready. Poor fucking bastard. Feel sorry for him? You. Dunno, maybe. Guy's bankrupt, all out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Had seven years to do that and didn't. He's got a chance to turn his life around now. Chum lost everything. Literally. Just hasn't realized it. Yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club-sized bird. His ideals bought him of a cesspit, choking on shit. He'll hang himself. Our neurosurgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Time for the next leg of the journey. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up, stat. I just need a meter point. Probably Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by.
Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Shit was clear as the summer sky already. Do you think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelled. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raising Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually, eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So, this is how it ends. Gonna argue about this again? Can we please not? Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Right. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up, on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Good hands. I'm gonna hold you to that. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Wanna bid the city goodbye? Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. You'll never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? Human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you ever tossed back in again. Don't feel like I lost, though. Shame. Maybe you ought to. Why? Because I finally got what I fought tooth and nail for? V, you crapped out. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. Let it go. 
don't deserve this abuse. People rarely get what they deserve, V. Why, Johnny? Last time we're ever gonna talk this. So you're gonna do your damnedest to make me feel like shit? Because it's my last chance to make a difference. If not in the world, then in you. You spent your whole life living on a whim. Looking out for your ass and your ass alone. Got no right to lecture me, Silverhand. You want me to act like this? Us? Was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. You deserve it. Going out like this. How the fuck so? Enlighten me. For starters, you're a narcissist and a sociopath. Only way you can live with yourself is by believing you never do anything wrong, pinning the blame for your mistakes on others. Know the worst part, though? Nah, but guessing you do. Probably think yourself a revolutionary. A fucking hero. Hate to break it to you. You're just a sad excuse for a man who thinks the world's gotta suffer along with him. That's your legacy, Johnny. Remember that as you go. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden-free. Never know how stress might affect it. You done? About sums it up, yeah. Said my piece. Made mistakes. I admit it. We all do. But if you think I wanted to be a hero, then you don't know jack shit about me. Oh, P! You get any sleep? Nah, no matter. Time you got up. P? You in there? Yeah, about time, Holmes. It'll be all right, V. You'll see. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Take care of me. Maybe you'll find your own down in IC. Sweet dreams, then. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Afterlife. See you there. Eyes, they're opening. I think he sees me now. V, can you hear me? Think I can hear. And I can talk. Good. About time. Was told. You got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise, in the AV, you weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah, I felt I owed you this. Putting in a personal appearance. Bad news, gotta be. Just tell me. 
Sergio is a bust, right? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. Let's cut the Angram out safely. That it? A good ripple patch you quick and easy. Not this time. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage a personal link and simple co-processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. You're shitting me. Believe me. I wish I could have said it was all good. 70 fucking nine? You take me for a ride. This is some sick joke. <laughs> For we say it is. Or just admit... I don't know, just... The, you don't know. You, you aren't sure. Whatever. I wish I could help you, V. But I can't. Need some air. Legs are jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Prime. Where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed? This... story... We do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. 
So if you don't... Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? The one and only. <sighs> Unbelievable. But how are you... Why? So... This netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. Two-year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Sir, did you happen to hear my question? I asked if you find the liquor I procured for your friend suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. They could love it. Sorry, uh, I zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. Night City can indeed overwhelm the occasional newcomer. Might I ask how you feel? No, hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. My deepest apologies. We've only met once before. Hence my hasty conclusion that you're not a native. Indeed, Night City has since changed quite significantly. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced yeah, that Yorinobu now, has thanks. stepped down. As you wish. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing whack -a corp Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. Doesn't matter. Thank you for choosing this Delamain service. Better get I going. shall wait here for your ret One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Thank 
Hey, man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. Right. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic, <laughs> so good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah, good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty Shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment. So what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be him again. You know what I mean? What are you trying to say, exactly? This Seda Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed... senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of... of all the things I knew. <laughs> Can't imagine how Johnny felt, waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, <laughs> sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. So... Or 
first time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that it. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life threatening. Said kind. you can do something, Vic. I. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt too. Still doing what I most love though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. You gotta pay Tyler. some Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Got it all wrong. Nomad. That's who I am. Oh shit. Faith's all around these days. You rapping? Even better. Booyah! V? V, you... What happened to you? Uh, Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. Nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh. Is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly... I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. 
Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Man, of all people. Never thought I'd see you leave in Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Vic signing on to work for Zeta Tech? No, not that. It was a blow, that's sure. We had a huge fight about it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. I'm sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you, I do. You have helped. By staying alive. No one, Misty. Thanks. Likewise, V. Misty, can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, you always have something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... <laughs> Dunno, I'll... Be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? I don't know, Misty. I feel like I'm at a dead end. Could turn on my heel, choose a different path, I know. Not ready for that. Not yet. You can choose. Enjoy it. You're a free man. Once you make up your mind, I really hope you find... joy. My ride will be here soon. Lock me to it? again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore.